On this episode of Cockney Crusading, we're off to India. North India to be precise, Pushkar, the Pushkar Camel Fair. We're hoping we don't get Daily Belly on the way, but follow me as I take up the lead role in the action movie, Trials of Blood. Pushkar is a holy town located in the Rajasthan area of North India. The Pushkar Fair is an annual five day camel and livestock fair held in the town of Pushkar. It's one of the world's largest camel fairs and apart from buying and selling of livestock, it's become an important tourist attraction. This makes it the perfect backdrop for our action movie. We've got five days of hard work in front of us and you're going to follow me step by step as we go on an Indian adventure. Let's go have it. So first up, we're going to see the locations and we're going to do a bit of sightseeing on the way. So we're in the Hall of Fish Bar now and we're going to look at some sites and locations. <laughs> Just straight here, camels, horses. We were just at the hotel, rescheduling the shoot. It's a lot of hard work, a lot of things to be done in a short space of time. But we're pretty confident we're going to get it all done in time and enjoy the sights of Pushkar. Here's the schedule. That will be the death of all of us. Yep. There you go, there's the schedule. Freshly rewritten this morning. <laughs> By all of us. All things are good. If you like deserts, mountains, goats, camels, cows, then come to Pushkar, because there's a lot of them. Cows are considered to be very sacred animals in India. In Pushkar, no meat is to be eaten. It's a totally vegetarian town, even to the point of no eggs. We're in India's winter at the minute, and I'm telling you something, it's more like England's summer, but the weather is perfect. So now this is the first shot of me arriving into uh, Pushkar. So this uh, Look at locations, it's very impressive. Definitely not uh, London anymore. Um, yeah, it's all going good, the sun's out. It's good not to be in the freezing cold of England. Uh, missing a cup of tea though. But I've dis uh, discovered chai tea, which is fucking awesome. So uh, shall be bringing some of that home. But yeah, check that mountain out in the background. So. Really good, looking forward to uh, shooting tomorrow. We're shooting a fight scene in two days, I've got two days to work it out. But um, I'm quite falling in love with this location. In here's amazing. I'll be the first to admit that it's cliche, but an Englishman loves his tea. So we've stopped off in a cafe, but this ain't no Costa's coffee. You won't get no cappuccinos here, but you will get chai tea. Myself drinking chai. <laughs> it's really good. <laughs> it's like one sip and it just completely wakes you up. 
Yeah, it's really good. It's like liquid crack. <laughs> So I've been in Pushkar for a day now and I'm loving the place. It's a bit of a culture shock, but I'm getting used to it. I'm quite knackered, I've got jet lag. I need to go home now, get a massage, get something to eat. It's going to be a long, hard week, but it's going to be fun. So in Rajasthan, you can't eat meat. So I'm having a vegetable and rice. It's quite nice. It's quite um, a change not eating meat. So I just had a massage and they told me that I eat too much protein and I should eat more green veg which is why I'm having a boiled rice curry. It's nice. Now we're on our way to our first first day of shooting, and here we have uh, Big Ram, Mr. Big Ram. So I shall interrogate you later on. <laughs> so uh, looking forward to it. It's 8 a.m. Um, yeah, so let's get rolling. You hear a lot of rumours about Indian filmmaking, some true, some not, but nothing, nothing on God's green earth could have prepared me for my first shot. The first scene done. Mm. <laughs> so what he did, see there, this is my driver here. Yeah. First bit of acting. We we almost nearly killed some random Indian woman <laughs> carrying a pot. She probably just had the fright of her life. But um, it's probably gonna look good on camera. I don't know if it's good or bad. <laughs> Bend. Just driven 50 mile an hour down a crazy Rajasthan curvy mountain road. He's damaged the car. <laughs> he actually damaged the car. That was fucking mental. I just thought I nearly died. But yeah, all for the love of the art. <laughs> He's blown the tire. Yeah? <laughs> This is me and my new friend. Ah. Say hello to London. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> How you feel after your first stunt? Your first stunt. <laughs> Good. Stunt driver. <laughs> so we got the shot in the can. Apparently, the lady was scared. Fuck yeah, she got scared. She died. <laughs> Fuck, it's crazy. The introduction to uh, Indian Wait cinema again. The weird thing about this place: they speak three languages. Hindi, Tamil, and English. So some people are speaking three languages. Some Indians talk to other Indians in English. It's pretty random. So yeah, you want to foreign shoot three different languages. It's quite an achievement for uh, the staff to uh, get through. But yeah, it's going well so far. So only one damaged tyre so far. <laughs> Hopefully no damaged burrages on the way. I won't lie, it shook me up. But hey, we've got a film to make. Let's crack on. Done um, the first shot anyway. So yesterday we was going around wrecking the uh, the scenes. Uh, we went to do the fight scene. Um, it was happy with the fight scene. We just had to condense it for. We worked it around two and a half minutes. Uh, broke it down to about one and a half. Um, due to we're using film, so when you use film, I mean it's kind of a dead art now because everyone's using digital. Everyone's filming on digital uh, 
SD cards, whatever you're filming on, <coughs> flash drives. So uh, film's kind of a dead art now. Um, the reason is because it's, <coughs> it's a lot more time consuming, it's a lot more expensive and such. Whereas digital, you can film as much time, many times as you want, and just keep changing the cards. So we had to condense it to one and a half minutes to save film. Which I'm a little gutted about, because it helps me, I make this the most epic action movie ever. But um, So we've had to cut some of the fight scenes out, parts of the fight scene. But I'm pretty happy with the fight scene. Um, hope it all goes well. Should go well. We're fighting in a sand dune. So it makes a change to my ring. So yeah, all good. So this is the director who nearly killed me in a car on my first <laughs> take. How do you feel? About nearly killing me. Uh, I mean, <laughs> I don't know. It feels weird. <laughs> I definitely don't want uh, you know my hero to die on the no. first shot. No. Yeah, like <laughs> definitely not. <laughs> Breakfast now. What is it called? Malpa. Maipa. Thank you. Maipa. Malpa. 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 Special as yes. yes. <laughs> this is Prince. He's awesome. Yes. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> deliver my first lines in the uh, movie Blood Trails or Harry Curry's Pigments. Uh, looking forward to it. Um, yeah, just fucking do it. <laughs> Action! You see, but he's not here. If you want to see more of my acting, you're going to have to watch the movie. Now, it's the end of the day, we've got one more shot to get, the camels. The uh, infamous camel shot now. <laughs> if we can get camels in this shot, then it's been an awesome day. So, uh, we're just reversing the uh, truck now. Ready to, uh, this is the uh, Pathfinder's entrance into the movie. We have a lovely stunt driver here, <laughs> who nearly killed me this morning, who uh, <laughs> will be and get uh, directed me to the uh, to the end of the road. Goodbye. Got the final shot of the day in the bag. Me arriving in the push car. It's time to go back to the hotel now and relax. First, we've got to get there in one piece. I mean, I'm not used to the Indian way of driving. To say it's chaotic is well, it's an understatement. No tractor sounds like it sounds like this. <laughs> the time is eight in the morning, and uh, we're getting ready for the first shoot of the day. Uh, shots of me walking 
through the belly, hunting for Kalu, this guy in the background here. So, uh, so he is very early, very tired, but he's very awesome. So, so that, guys, is a dead snake. Awesome. And this is camel shit. Not your average shit. But uh, there you go, now you know what camel shit looks like. So the sun is just coming up now over uh, the hills of Rajasthan, the mountains. And the one thing you'll notice, what I've come to love about this place, is it's, it's quiet. It's totally quiet. You know, I mean, you can hear, I can hear music playing, it must be about at least 20, 20 miles away, it's that quiet. Um, it's a long way from London, getting used to police sirens and buses and bibbing horns. So, um, yeah, it's really peaceful, it's really nice. So the snake I found, we're now going to use in the shot. Here it is. <laughs> it's not a snake, it's, it's an iguana tail. It's an iguana. <laughs> yeah, mm, yummy. Have you had that? Yeah, yeah, yeah with yeah. the claws sticking out, that's good. A hundred and a braver man than me for picking it up. So, well done, mate. <laughs> <laughs> You're a star. You're a star. With all the morning shots in the can, it's time to move on to our next location, the CAF, where I interrogate Vikram about the murder. In true production style, things don't always run to plan, and the CAF was a perfect example. So now we're doing my first big dialogue shot. I'm in a CAF, in a local CAF. And basically, I know that Big Ram has something to do with the murder, so I'm um, kind of intimidating him a little bit. So yeah, it should be good. Got the lines down, so yeah, let's do it. The one thing you learn about India is a very, very noisy place where it wants to be. And it's usually when you want to film. I'm absolutely shattered. Uh, sun's out. So the reason we've drawn quite a crowd is because a lot of these people have never seen a gun before, which is quite mental. So have a look at this crowd. So with the noisy location finally winning, it was time to call it a day. We didn't get the shot in the can. We got half of it, but not all of it. We're going to have to come back another day and do the rest. Now, I'd like to go home and rest, but I've got to go back to the hotel and choreograph the fight scene. It's a long day. Time is not on our side here in India, and after today's filming problems, it gives us even less time. But we've been told the fight has been moved to tomorrow to try and reschedule things. Hopefully now we can get things all done in time, and it will look awesome. Agni, my co-actor, is a fast learner and he's picking up the techniques quite quick. So I'm quite confident what you see in the film will be like nothing you've seen before in any action movie. So it's 6am, uh, it's the morning of the big fight between me and Carlo. I was up last night um, re-choreographing the the fight to make it a bit shorter for camera. Um, I'm quite confident it looked good. It's got a lot of pro wrestling elements in it, so uh, yeah, I mean, it was good. Look, I mean, what else do you need? Look at that view. So, let's go on to set. And there's a cow just quite casually eating vegetables on the floor. <laughs> Biscuit 
and a cup of chai. And chai. I'm with the boys. And I'm, I have been promoted as the chief of production. Yep. He's no, uh, <laughs> chief buffer now. Chief fluffer. <laughs> Anything in India, sir? Possible. Any, one, any, one stop shopping. One stop shopping, sir. One stop shopping, sir. In India, one stop shopping. One stop shopping. <laughs> you get your line now. <laughs> yeah, I got you my line. You get it on an iPhone. Yeah. <laughs> 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 no, I just did a prayer, a holy prayer. At least I tried to bless the production we're doing today. Awesome. Uh, my, my good start to the day. And I have this as a reward on my head. So what we have uh, beneath here is the pituitary gland, just below the brain, uh, in between your eyebrow stuff. You know, so pituitary gland is said to be the master of glands. And um, this thing, when you keep here, it stimulates the, uh, pituitary, the pituitary yeah. gland. So basically when pituitary gland is stimulated, you will be awake much more all your senses will be uh, much more uh, aware and awake so it helps all the other glands to perform okay good so uh, this thing depends on um, the the weather condition whether the red thing or the yellow thing yep back in south india where the hot uh, climate is much more hot and humid so they try to keep it cool, cool it down you know so they put this you know sandal wood yeah they wrap the wood make a paste and keep it and which gives a complete body cooling you know, awesome. It makes your mind okay. cooler. Cool. Yeah. Cool, literally. Sure. <laughs> so we've made it to the fight location. Here we are. And there's Prince. Uh, Prince! Hey! <laughs> Let's do some filming. <laughs> Basically, I wanted to explain what uh, the story of me getting blessed. Basically, the runner he forgot something, so I basically went for a little wander. And out of front of our hotel is um, a holy shrine with the lake, like a holy lake in Pushkar. So anyway, before I even could even process, I was there. Some random Indian come behind me. Say, oh, you can come in, sir. Let me ready for a made nice rhyme about London is, you know, get, get your, your guard down. Got me inside. Took my next minute, I was down by the lake with my shoes off, with a, a priest. How Put a flower in my hand. Uh, he blessed me. I thought it was all good. Uh, he asked me how many brothers and sisters I had, etc. And he said I must make a, a donation to each member of my family. You know this kind of stuff. But it was very. He didn't explain exactly what. When he told me, he already made blessings for my family and said uh, that I already promised to give him two thousand rupees. I've already made a blessing for your family, and then asked his assistant to check my wallets. Um, you know, we have people in London <laughs> that do that kind of thing, and they're not priests, so, I don't know, asking your assistants to check my wallet, check his pockets for money, I don't think a Church of England priest would be doing the same actions. Yeah, so now I have been blessed, and I am a couple of rupees shorter, but it's all fun. Now we are filming the fight. But before that, we bring you Burridge's words of safety. So this is the weapon. I'm going to kill Carly with. Now guns are very dangerous things. They can hurt people. They can harm people. And they can light cigarettes. Don't play with guns. <laughs> <laughs> that is too funny. That is true. So this is the hill that I'm going to fall down, so I start from there and then I fall all the way down to the bottom all the way down to the bottom there um, yeah we're just setting up the shot now it's going to be seven shots uh, that leads into the fall so it should take about an hour and a half 
Oh yeah, do my backward Cassandra rolls down the hill for you at the London School Lucha Libre. <laughs> Prince is king of uh, the Pushka. Thing. The Prince of Pushka. The Prince of Pushka. The Chai Ho and the Balloon <laughs> Queen. Liz is filming. Yeah. Hello, England. Hi. <laughs> Hi. Hello. Hi, Greg. How Hello. are you? I'm good. Yeah. What well, well, do you think? I'm my fine. acting? My acting good? Yeah, very nice. Number very one. Good yeah? acting. Yeah. Yeah, nice. <laughs> very good acting. Sexy man, yeah. Good fight. 
The fireman. Fireman. Yes, fireman. I am the fireman. <laughs> uh, hello. Hi. How are you? I'm good. You good? Yeah, good. Yay. Greg is a very good actor. Oh, thank you. Really a good actor. Here is your 100 rupees. No, no, no. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Not. Oh, he's not my biggest fan. So it's the last day of film today. We're on the streets of Rajasthan. And a shot of me drinking chai. So in this shot, I'm drinking chai. It's a hard life. Hard down set, drinking chai. I just did a scene with some dogs, quite literally. These are the guys. Well done, guys. You're fabulous. Fabulous dog. And there you have it, guys. An anal atom bomb funnel. Where else but India? <clears throat> so now we're going to um, do a pickup shot. Basically, it's a shot that we didn't get to film finished the other day due to um, the temple across the road started praying to a couple of hours so we couldn't really film because of the sound so we're going to go back there now and film big heavy bit of dialogue for me um, and that's pretty much it just been walking around the streets of Rajasthan it's been really awesome looking forward to it through the back streets of Rajasthan, as you do, uh, don't really know what I am, random animals everywhere, I'm just about to see, you see the big old hill, the big old castle on top of it, uh, come around a bit more, another big hill, a bit more, another big hill, big hill, big hill, basically Rajasthan is built in a canyon of mountains, so it's kind of like a, like a big bucket, and then you built a city in the middle of it but um, it's pretty awesome so I'm guessing that's why you don't really feel the heavy winds and such because it's protected by these mountains so there's your geographical lesson today from Burridge <laughs> There's also a festival today, today's the busiest uh, celebration of uh, the Hindu religion. There's a lot of festivals going on now. It's pretty cool. Unfortunately for us, we haven't got time for sightseeing. We're on a tight schedule. We've got to get to the calf and finish off the shots we didn't film the other day. It's not very chaotic at the minute. Lots of chaos going on. It's pretty cool. So basically uh, what we're doing, we're doing a cheat shot. Uh, basically cheating means basically what it sounds like because we couldn't get the um, final shot done in the other location because it was too noisy we're going to try and uh, do it here at this calf instead and try and make it appear as if we're in the other calf so yeah that's cheating yeah. good form of cheating not bad kind cheating for losers usually
cows just don't give a fuck. <laughs> From an epic fight scene you're staying, how do you feel after this one? Tired. Me too. Mm -hmm. Do you hurt anyway? A little bit. A little bit. Shoulder. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, but, um, we basically, I basically chase him in the story. Mm -hmm. I don't get him, but next time in the sequel I will. So watch mm -hmm. out. Right? Well He's coming for us. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, how are you? You good? Uh, <laughs> my angel. Angel. <laughs> angel, <laughs> okay. Angel. Okay. <laughs> very black. Ah. Uh, I am Megaman Silva. This Greg is a very good actor. Yeah, yeah, very fireman, stuntman. Fireman. Yesterday, good fighting. Yeah. Good fighting. <laughs> <laughs> so we're making a fake table to make it look like the wooden table we had at the other shop. So basically, if you see behind my shoulder here what's happening, uh, <laughs> A dude just got hit by a cow. He basically in his little tuck tuck, and uh, the cow horn clipped his legs. It's pretty mental. And the cow just sort of fucked off, not really giving a shit. He's hard. But um, yeah, Indian driving, anything can happen. An action. So I've done all my scenes now. Catch a bit of sun rays before I go back to England. Um, it's going to be cold when I get home. <coughs> oh, bless me. So yeah, catch the rays now. But I can't sunbathe for long. It's time to go back to the hotel for some final shots and then the camel fare for the last scene. Now we are on the street. Hey! How are you? Hello. Good. This is my friend Johnny Whiskey. <laughs> Johnny Whiskey number one. Number one. Number full one. Power one. Full power number one. How are you? Good. Yeah, everything? I'm good. Good. I'll see you in a minute. Full power. Hey. What's up, man? What's up, man? We like Bibby in here. That's a cool shit, eh? Basker is the glue. Basker is the glue of the shoot. He's the man that does everything. He's my angel. He's my guardian. <laughs> he gets me food, gets me changed. He's number one. Number one. <laughs> and he's crazy. And he nearly killed me on the first day in a car. <laughs> First, we're going to be filming you. Yes. <laughs> this is your shot. It's my shot. And we're going to see camels at the camel fair. It's me in it. <laughs> and then that's it. We're going to see camels and a whole other camel who's sitting right there. Yeah. <laughs> spit, spit. There you go. That's a 133 take one. Act. Fucking act. <laughs> Shitload of cows. We're on like we're on the last day of the shoot. The last hour of the shoot. Last, last hour last of the shoot. Of the shoot. <laughs> yeah, last hour of daylight and we have not seen a single camel on one film camel. yet. Hang on, there's one. No, there's sand. <laughs> Yeah, it's true. It's day five and we haven't got a single camel on camera yet. But we're about to get more camels than we can possibly handle.
we finally made it to the Pushkar Camel Fair day five. To be honest, I don't think I've even seen a camel before. But I'm going to answer that question you're all thinking at home. What does a camel feel like? Well, it feels like a Velcro, AstroTurf. Got an AstroTurf texture. And there you go, guys. AstroTurf. That's a camel. It's impossible to get a, a, get a shit shot in India. Everything is just awesome. So this is the world famous Pushkar Camel Fair and I'm walking through a field of camels. As you can see. Camels to my left, camels to my right, stuck in the middle of you. Camels, camels, camels. Exactly. <laughs> camels everywhere. These camels are cool, they're chilled. The camel master. <sighs> oh, no he's not. He's, he's unhappy. Probably they paint him like Elvis, but he, he's not happy. Yeah, this camel's definitely broken his leg. He's cool, he's just looking on, he ain't cared, he ain't bothered. Okay, I'm gonna... <laughs> this guy can't sit on the camel. He's been shot now, I walk through the middle of the camel fair and I uh, talk to these guys, trying to find Kalu. We've got a bit of a crowd for him now. And that's it, that's a wrap. Five hard days of work paid off. It's going to look awesome when it's done. Now, it's time to go back to London. So, that's it. That's the final shot in the can. Done. And uh, time to go home. I've had a wonderful time in Rajasthan. Brilliant place. Met some awesome people. Some great friends. Beautiful place. And lots of camels. See you later. <laughs> That's it for this episode of Cockney Crusading. I hope you enjoyed India as much as I did. Next time, who knows where we're going to go. Let's have it. <laughs>